Hey guys, welcome team. Uh, today's topic is the Barrett's esophagus. Briefly, I will discuss about the Barrett's esophagus. Uh, as I said, you right now I'm concentrating more on Yosemite CK and step three. Okay, let me start with this. Without wasting time, just sit back and listen to my videos. Hope I hope you will get more information that are very important for Yosemite examination. Okay, let me start with this. It's a, definition is a squamous cell converts into columnar epithelium. Very important. Okay, so columnar epithelium. Uh, ESMLE points, what you need to remember is a, is a precancerous lesion. Okay, prolonged exposure of esophagus to the refluxate of the GERD can erode the esophageal mucosa, promote inflammatory cell infiltrates, and ultimately cause epithelial necrosis. Okay, when there's a regurgitation of the fluid for food stuff from the stomach into the esophagus, which is the nearest part, is the distal esophagus, right? So it affects the distal esophagus. This is how you need to remember. Okay, middle aged 55 year old white man with a chronic history of gastroesophageal reflux disease, for example, spilorosis, pyrosis, acid regurgitation. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. Uh, okay. Uh, pyrosis, acid regurgitation and occasionally the dysphagia. Although this is a classic history, some patients may deny any symptoms. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, the test what you need to do is endoscopy. That's very important and the best diagnostic, diagnostic study is uh, biopsy. Okay. Uh, well, okay, Before, let me tell you the important points the four important points let me treat you okay let me tell you about the treatment plan for this Barrett's esophagus is uh, you have to give the PPI is so here we are not going to do the surgery right remember this PPI and endoscopy every two to three years that's very important point you need to remember then do you want to do surgery and everything let's see if there is a low grade dysplasia histological finding histology if they give low grade dysplasia Remember to give PPI and do endoscopy every six months. Very important, write it down here. Then, if the high grade dysplasia is there on histology, do distal esophagectomy. Okay, I think I'm done with this. Very important points. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. Please let me know by commenting and please do subs uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.